Are we good? You good? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so tell me about your characters in the movie. Um, I play Angela, who's an entertainment attorney and a really, really, really good friend of Brad Bradford, <laughs> uh, who is kind of like his, I don't know, what would you say, voice of wisdom at times. Yeah. Um, she's always looked up to him, but now they're both in different places in their life, and she looks at him, I think, a little bit more than just her big brother's friend, just someone who she can see herself with and just kind of allows him to find out that I'm the perfect woman for him. <laughs> yeah, and how ridiculously stupid I was to not realize it before. <laughs> you know? And what about you? How about what's Brad like? Brad's a, you know, he's a DJ. He uh, is raising his son by himself. So his wife left him, so he's got a little issue with that. So he's a playboy. He doesn't really want any attachments or relationships. And he's kind of a little bit of a kid in that way, and so he's been ignoring like this this uh, beautiful woman that's been around, you know. Uh, and then finally he sees Angela or Regina. He sees her uh, as someone that maybe he can move on with his life with as well, while he allows his son to move on with his life as well. So it's a journey. Yeah. Uh, now Regina, your character Angela is like sort of the voice of reason, you know, in the whole movie. Um, sort of witnessing, like, the, you know, all the shenanigans going on between the two families. Like, what's, what are the major differences between the two? I think that there are um, more, the likenesses are bigger than the differences. You know, the love that both parents have for their children is so much bigger than, um, I guess, maybe cultural differences and uh, traditional wedding differences. And um, Angela realizes and recognizes that, and I think that's what stands out to her the most and um, m makes it easy for her to keep the position of, okay, let's agree to disagree, but what we do agree on is that these two love each other and they want to be together. Yeah, you right. know, that's that lawyer inside, mm -hmm. you know, hey, let's, let's, let's try to make everybody happy, you know. What is it about weddings that make people just behave so differently than, you know, planning for weddings and, like, just the stress of it all? I mean, it's a big life change. I mean, I would think there's there's got to be tensions or at least nervousness. Some people are excited. But even with the excitement, that's, that's emotion. Mm. You're changing. You're about to change your life. And your family, too, is about to restructure their relationship with you. Because, you know, maybe now you have to deal with uh, your kids going off and starting their own life and having their own kids and, you know, Hopefully when you get to become a grandparent or something and you get to, like, really have some more fun, you know. Yeah, know. and hopefully you, th it's the only time there's not going to be a second or a third marriage, mm. you know. So I think all those involved just want it to be right and everything to be right. Mm. And they uh, forget that it's beyond the wedding that has to right. be right. Um, have either of you been a part of any crazy wedding experiences, any stories? Luckily, no, knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, not really. Okay. Um, you know, you guys, I think, have really amazing chemistry on set, like the whole cast does. So talk about working together with everyone. What was it like? You know, it was, it's, was like an awesome way to spend your summer. You know, it's that uh, job that, not saying that you walk through it and, it's a no-brainer, but it's not all the pressure that some characters have because they're, you know, more dramatic. So it gives you an opportunity to actually have a good time and get to know your cast members as opposed to, you know, seeing each other that little bit before uh, work when you're in hair and makeup, and then after that, you're in character and that's it to the end of the day. This was an opportunity to actually, you know, get to enjoy each other. Uh, one last question. Uh, you know, this is a you know comedic role for you. What was it like coming out of some of the more heavier roles into you know this role? Um, it was a blast. I mean, it was like really freeing for me. I had a good time. I, I was working with people I really liked, and and uh, I was getting to like play around. <laughs> you know, not be so concerned. Allow my mind to like just flow. And sometimes I'm like with characters, I'm constricted, and I have a certain 
like square or a place I'm walking in, that's where I am. With this, I could kind of go there until maybe Regina told me to stop. You know, it's enough of that or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, that's about it. Which know? I never did. <laughs> <laughs> of course not.